Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to comment all of the fights uh, since I'm at work, so it's way easier to record like two fights um, without any comments. So you can you will be able to see some of, some of the fights today uh, without any um, speaking by my side, but it's not be it won't be uh, uh, a lot of them like three or four. I didn't expect this guy to take down the other pool. And we are lucky with this. We got the first move. Um, the Morgan is, is an issue for us. You have to skip, I guess, uh, more of an attack range. And we have to hope that we will win this fight. So, okay. We have these three spots. It shouldn't kill all of us. And she made a huge mistake right now. If she will not use the ability on the Eric. percent of battery It's one game, I just hope the uh, battery will not Sorry. go down before the end turn.
Okay, match is over. Hello guys, welcome back to Warhammer Tacticus. Uh, we are coming back to our conquest in Tournament Arena Day 2. Um, so you will be you probably seen already four fights today in this material because I will upload it in the first place I mean in uh, during uh, creating this video um, without my comments because I was not able to comment while I play these battles but right now I am here and um, we can just get started with the day two of the arena so I think I lost one match and I've won three fights. So we're going to fight with Billy 77. Okay, uh, let's let's check his range. Actually, so we should be afraid of the. We should be afraid of the Makotep, of course, as always we should be. So this guy has no range, but. Let's actually go like this. He will summon. Yeah, he'll have extra range, so we can. I think this position is comfortable for us. He will probably try to put Makote on this on behind the Alep Null, yeah, and a little go back. Um, so as you can see, hmm, I can actually try to strike down this guy, and this was not a success. Um, okay, so he's got range and he'll have range um, like here, so we can place Alep Null on this side, and we can play this guy here, and we can just wait him to make a move so he'll probably get the demon prince uh, but it's fine the worst part is that he can summon the uh, crabs with alep null and then use the relentless march with makotep which which can be an issue i really hope i can kill the commissary Yarik, but he accidentally blocked the second blood blood letter hit Okay, Vindicta taken down. And I think he just won this fight, unfortunately. Um, okay, so this is our turn to make a move. So we're just going to uh, put a crabs, I guess, here. Oh shit, <laughs> I made a huge mistake. So actually all he needs to do is to kill this guy and to take his place. So, um... Actually, we lost only because the Yarik was not knocked down in time. Okay, and we lost with Billy, so... Okay, we just keep going. So we lost three battles, this is day... This is day two, so if we can... If we manage to win all the next fights, uh, that would be fine. So very good, very good place at uh, at the beginning. Vindicta is in ahead, and she will get a bonus. So already, um, already you can see that uh, this guy is screwed. So we have the range. Um, we we can take we can go like here. 
Okay, this is what we wanted to do. Okay, so my cutup can go here and take down the the main hits. And we can just region and I think that's this fight is already won. Killing Vindicta after she made a double attack is uh, is for me pointless. Oh no, he killed Makotep anyway. Never mind then. So we are all about to take down the Bellator which 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 left to to be killed. Um I wanna risk but Okay, let's let's risk that. Okay. So nine fights to go and one more from redemption pool. Player without a nickname is most likely mm, uh, the most often this is uh, weak players, so completely fine with me. So he's got a problem, and right now his problem is even bigger. We can sacrifice, actually. Okay, he somehow he survived, so... Mm, we wanna make crabs right here. Um, we wanna pull Makotep right here, and we're going to take down the sniper and match is over. Uh, I still consider, because it does not matter if, if I win the fight or or I lose the fight, that there are still some kind of maps um, that you are actually unable to move when enemy has Makotep and he is making the first turn. Because later if you make a move, like you could see in the first battle today or, or a second, which I lost, um, the guy made pos positioned himself and um, I didn't move for a few, few rounds, he also didn't move, so I had to make a move not to be not to lose the fight for not making any action and when i just did one move i was in range already of enemy vindicta mm. okay so let's see if if the range of these characters okay this is fine so we can put all of the characters in front so this is this is exactly the map I was speaking about. If he makes any kind of move, he has no chance of of surviving. So what are we going to do is to to, to make this. Um, then we're going to we will go here, but for a second we will not move yet just yet. Okay. Um, we can go for this guy, and now we can use the ability. So, basically, this guy played even even nice. So he killed Vindicta as the first one, but um, after that, he has no chance. I don't know if there is any team team which can counter this play. So. This is just stupid. He has no chance when I move the. F well, if I move first. Oh, only one way to win this fight is just to hit Tatmos, also Makotep, and force enemy to come to you. But. Uh, not Tatmos, sorry. Tadeus Noble. But Tadeus Noble is kinda weak in these duels. Okay, 
Okay, we don't see, um, we do not see in, in enemy team Makotep, so we will have this small advantage if he does not push uh, with the other units much. Uh, we will have high chance of uh, killing them. So, we, we already are in range. So we killed the first one. Uh, we can go for the... I'm afraid that... Okay, let's move. Uh, let's uh, region. And now let's kill this guy. Um, I messed up, but I just need to capture two points, so he will probably kill my Yarik and he will kill one of these characters. He didn't make a move, so he didn't use the potential. Right now he just did. Okay, somehow I survived. Um, very big mistake, I would say. And match is over. So, six fights to go. And we are taking the first move. Um, enemy has Makota, but he will not use the full potential of this character at all. So we will. I prefer to use the Archimatos right now. I mm, I can feel the anger of the mm, of some players, especially the ones who uh, know how to play the game. That the, some of the maps are just too small, and uh, it means that mm, uh, there are many issues that you cannot make a move, and if you make a move, you lose. Uh, So like this one. So this is this is just how how the fight ends. So this is no uh, competi competition right now. It's just who was lucky and to begin the round first, to begin the fight first. Um, maybe it would be fair if they could add something like um, if I move first, he can set up his uh, line, so he can place the characters as he wants to, to have this small advantage. Um, but otherwise, um, instead of uh, having fun, many players will will be will be just mad. Okay, so he's got the first move, but of course no Makotep, and again, he has a lot of Overwatch characters, so we have to play it smart. Okay. Okay, so we are fine with this. I'm just worried that Okay. So we have to risk. And we did it. Actually, I'm not sure how Overwatch works, that uh, the Emospec didn't uh, take down the... Okay, Makoto has extra one range, so that's fine.
Okay, I just didn't make this move earlier because it was shown that it will deal no damage. So I would say that so far the event goes well for me. Um, I lost two fights. I guess I didn't, I couldn't do much more, but I lost two matches which I could play better. Um, so actually, I really hope that the the maps for the PvP will be bigger size. Either they will. Um, okay, let's let's see the range. Uh, so range of this guy is small. This guy has the the highest range, and we are afraid of Vindicta as always. Okay. So we are afraid of Vindicta of Vindicta. So we can make like this. Uh, we are not in range. That's fine. Okay. So we will for force this guy to come to us, and he just did. Um, he has one character with Overwatch. Okay, kind of lucky. And we can um, we can make an attack, but we can also um, give the Cadian Guardsman move. But I think this is not an, a solution. So right now, if he wants to win, he has to kill the, this guy and capture also two points. I forgot this guy has this option. So he might even win this if he was able to kill Amakatep with the summons and um, take the spot. So if this guy um, could know the game, he might even win. But he didn't. Okay, we're playing against the Ren, and luckily for us, um, the range of this guy is still up here, so we can do our job. We can risk a little. Uh, Tatmos is uh, dangerous for us, but. He'll have extra range, he'll have extra range. Uh, let's go like this. <clears throat> so Makotep can enemy Makotep uh, can take down the Yarik since he's on the spot which uh, takes more damage. A guy thinking hard, or he just disconnected. If he didn't move, it would be the best option for me. Well, actually, can skip the turn. Oh fuck! It Tatmos. <laughs> It's my bet. How can we make it better?
Okay, luckily he's not in range still. What does it mean? Come on, this guy just did not move at all. I'm curious, let, let's test this out, even if I'm gonna lose. This guy does not move, move with uh, four characters, barely one with one, and he did special attack which does not require any move. should punish this guy for not moving. So we have time guys, so we can do like this. I also did move. He should get punished for not moving. I think this guy just made a huge mistake by not moving for this long. And of course, it was how you end. He was sneaky, but I may, he might get notification if he will not move forward, he will be kicked out of the game. So actually, for me, that's good. I don't really care. Let's just use some energy to. Prepare for the update campaigns I'm going to start in, uh, on Sunday, I guess. I want to have all of the orcs on the bronze ring. So we are out of these uh, out of these items. We have to still get up four. Eighty-three uh, percent. Okay, it's perfect. So we can all continue playing the. the Tournament we have rating 153 and we have still two fights to go and the redemption pool So with three lost fights, uh, we have still potential for the um, top places So he has no Vindicta, uh, we don't care about this guy, it's, he's the only issue. So hmm. what we can actually do is to 
put this guy in front. Let's just pretend we are losing. Okay. So we are losing it right now. Um, maybe we can figure something out. Okay. He just won. Amazing. Okay. So, nine points in the redemption pool. Uh, and one last fight to go. Okay, so let's just move like, uh, he will be able to come for this spot, I guess. Um, the plus with the Alep Null is that he can fly, fly through this uh, obstacle and he ignores it, so... I just hope Tatmos will not uh, injure the Vindicta. Uh, sorry, uh, Tadeusz Noble. I mm. always uh, think that this is the same guy. So, what we can do right now is to take this guy out. So he can kill one, two, he can kill two more characters of mine. Um, he can snipe down the Archimatos, which will be very, very bad for me. Okay, he can kill Yarik, Yarik. I, I don't care much. <laughs> he didn't, so... We just won, but basically that was very close, and this is how playing the uh, uh, this uh, Elder Sniper and uh, Tadeusz Noble is very risky because it can uh, make you a game and it can make you lose a game. So 
Okay, I will just watch the small advertisement and I will be back in a second. Come, came back. Um, so playing redemption pool fights is extremely dangerous because if you lose from a redemption pool a fight, uh, you if you lose from a redemption pool fight, it might cause you a uh, lost way more points unless it's not cancelled if you lose it. So let's just move. He does not have Alep Null, so maximum range of this guy is uh, is Kalandis. So we have to do our best and pretend we do not see Kalandis and his movement range. So we're going just to put this guy here, put this guy here, put this guy here, Vindicta on the flank and Archimatos on the flank. I hope he will not be able to kill the, the uh, Makotep, he's on the high ground. So I think it, it, it has a meaning. So basically he just uh, lost a match with this shot. He can capture, he will probably cap capture lower position for the second point. Okay. Um, extremely, extremely bad, bad play by this guy. Um, we will focus right now the this guy and we will just put huge amount of uh, damage to the opponents. Okay. Extremely good play by me. And this is one fight, but this is the this is the stupid map which I mentioned, so uh, it's nothing special, I guess. So we've got one more fight to go from the redemption pool. I hope we can ma uh, manage to win. So one more cut. So last fight from the redemption pool and last fight for today. Um, the next fights I will I will play. I will um, connect with the tomorrow material. So I hope you enjoy this guy. Uh, I hope we can win this fight. Um, this one will be will be tough. Uh, we can already see this guy knows what he do, he's doing, and yeah. So unfortunately, we are forced to. Yeah, he has higher range by one. So it means that we have to move here uh, with this guy here with Vindicta on, on this place. Um, we are safe though here, but don't want to lose the fight just because um, I place my characters worse. <clears throat> this is exactly the situation which I mentioned. Um, I wish there were some kind of maps will support the, the characters without any summoning, like uh, small allies, uh, something like this. course so this is our only chance okay we got this we are lucky mm, we don't want to lose the he has still vindicta and this is the main issue. So Vindicta's move range. Um, so we'll just play on the back line. Just not to let this guy uh, take down our 
characters which which are going to to help us. So he can kill right now Yarik, Makotep and Vindicta and he'll probably will do that. I should have moved the Alep Null closer. Okay. Um. Bye bye. Tough and uh, lucky, but we did it. So this is the uh, day after. We can say that on the day two we are having seven, 171 points, which gives us um, we can say top 23 places. Uh, the best player is my t teammate, so he has uh, actually the Celestine, which is. Uh, beast for this kind of stuff because she kills ultimately every character almost every character with since round two and she has a range for the whole map and she negates all of the overwatch so i really wish i had her uh, 175 points is i guess uh, yes so we will not take the top three i don't think so but we can try to, if the players with 173 will lose some, at least one match, um, we can be back to the top uh, top 10, I would say. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, uh, you just uh, learned something new and see you tomorrow.